for celebrating International Women's Day with us tonight. Woo, that's good, thank you. This year's Canadian theme for International Women's Day is strong leadership, strong women, strong world. But we hope that you will make every day International Women's Day. Let's get started. So when it comes to personal finances, can you see a show of hands of how many women feel confident and comfortable with uh, taking charge and taking reins? That's not bad, that's good. We can always use uh, some, uh, some more advice, some more wisdom. As young and emerging leaders, we've got to believe in the valuable purpose of making sense out of dollars. So we've called in the experts, Angela Self and Alison Griffiths, to discuss how they became financial gurus. I just wanted to thank you so much, ladies, for taking the time to chat with us about personal finances. I think it's a topic that, that um, we don't often talk enough about uh, amongst our, our girlfriends, so I'm really excited and just want to launch right into it. My first question is for both of you. It's what inspired you to take control of your finances and become an advisor to other people? Well, it was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> for me, I think one of the biggest mistakes was not asking for what I was worth. I think there's two things. Number one, at that age we tend to think we're going to live forever and we think we have this enormous time frame and you know you'll hear it from from your uh, parents and, and grandparents and man the, the 50s just creep up on you just like that and so the stuff you think that's not worth doing in your 20s and 30s is doubly worth doing. I think too for me I just wanted to add um, that you really have to know yourself when it comes to your money because money is so emotional and it's very personal and you know we all have different money personalities. I'm an emotional spender. If my life feels like, in the same way that you'd be an emotional eater, if my life is out of control and I'm stressed and like something is chaotic, that's when I kind of spiral and I make really poor money choices or I impulse buy. So I, I know myself and I know my triggers. So you set up accountability partners and you set up support. Yes, yeah. gifts gifts are the killer. The bank. <laughs> gifts are the killer. And if you have kids, it's like forget about it. There's a party every week, and it's like, and then if you have friends, and it's like this age when everyone's getting married and babies and showers, and it's just it's insane. Sometimes what's calming and helpful for people is to actually kind of work out the numbers. So have, I don't know if you've done that yet. Kind of, you've worked out all the numbers. How long would it take you to pay off your debt completely? Oh, oh then that's <laughs> I. <laughs> and, okay. Oh, what's if, your if you could be totally debt free in six months, then I would just go nuts and pay off your debt fully. Well, 